Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is the sixth uh, lesson of my mini series on abstract painting and all the links to the previous ones are down below in the information if you want to check back on those and then this one will make a lot more sense. And in this video we're going to be uh, looking at uh, all the different tools that you can use for creating some amazing things. <laughs> you know, things that we have just around the house, how we can experiment with them, how we can explore different possibilities and see all the different things that we can do to get some fantastic effects. So um, let's get started and see where we go. Okay, just before we start, I'm just looking at what we did in the last lesson in on the last video and you know deciding what kind of thing we would like to do and again I use my little uh, card which I showed you last time and I just wanted you to see you know how you can have some really lovely little uh, small paintings even from these fun um, playing exercises. So you can see here I've got a lovely thing here and I could do one up here. So I've got a nice little set of two. Um, another one here I can use uh, again which is you know in a little set they look really pretty and another one here. And on here I just added a little um, a little bit more paint with my with one of my little knives and again you can get some really nice little things this one I'm not so sure of but again you can have a, a, a C because those as little sets of pictures can be really nice <laughs> and it gives you kind of a boost of confidence you can see something working um, from your play so just bear that in mind. So now I've got a lot of things to show you. I'm just going to turn this over and we've got a piece of paper here. I'm going to show you different things. Now, using different tools. So without going and spending a whole load of money, let's see what we might already have in the house. <laughs> well, the first thing that I found was um, a nail brush. These are great for getting different textures. I've got that one and I found this one and that's really great. I love using that. So we will, I'll show you what they can do. Um, spatulas, here I've got a nice spatula and then I've got various scrapers. A credit card, well, an old credit card <laughs> works really well. You can also get lots of different sets of scrapers. This is one from the set in, in, in different sizes. So um, you obviously won't find that in the house, but you never know. Um, I found um, a little comb that I use. Now you can get some really nice effects using that. Um, both sides of it, that side and that side, you know, you can scrape in some really nice lines. The other thing that I've got here, and I'll show you, is I cut up sponges. I use a lot of sponges. So I just buy the sponge from the supermarket and then I'll cut it and make different shapes. And I'm always using these, they're, they're wonderful. Um, again, you've probably got them at home. <laughs> um, I also use um, some syringe wrap, um, which you can get really nice effects on. Um, I can peel it off and then push it in and get some different effects um, using that. So those are things that you probably got at home. Oh, I forgot, to, I've just bought these. These are pastry cutters and they'll be great for making um, different circles. So you can see, you can experiment without spending a lot of money <laughs> and going and buying things um, just off the bat, you know. Um, you can use some of those things. Now, other things that I've got, um, oh, I know the other thing I was going to show you, a window cleaner, a squeegee. <laughs> I love using this too. I've got some different sizes of that and um, this is really great for getting nice, uh, smooth um, and, and different effects as you use that. 
Uh, what, I've got a big box here <laughs> of different things. Uh, let me have a look here. Uh, I've got a whole set of, um, of palette knives. Now you can buy these in sets. Um, I've got a whole box of these and I use them, you know, for different effects. This is a nice one. It's a round one. That's a smaller one. That's a longer one. That's a nice shaped one. So you can buy, um, you know, palette knives uh, very inexpensively and you can use a uh, lot of those. The other things that you can also get very inexpensively are these little sponge brushes and these are lovely for all kinds of different things for texture getting very smooth surfaces for lines um, you know actually I use these sometimes when I'm putting a base on a on a painting with some gesso so those are great uh, I've got another little comb here um, oh what else have I got I've got a roller this is a decorating roller. <laughs> Again, really nice effect. So there's a huge amount of things that you can play with and improvise with and experiment with. Um, I've got a lovely big scraper here. I love that one. That one again, you can get some really nice effects. Uh, I've got a smaller one here. These are just from, you know, the DIY shop, uh, the, hard, the hardware store. Um, you know, they're not expensive and you can do all kinds of interesting things. So that kind of starts us off <laughs> and we can play around and see what can happen with some of these different things, which is what we're going to do now. So I'm just going to get everything ready and then let's make a start. So my suggestion is once you've got a few of your tools together, is maybe just choose a few to start with so you don't confuse yourself. Decide maybe on, you know, three or four that you'll play with and then do another one with some others just so you can kind of experiment and see because if you've got all of them, it's going to be a little bit chaotic. So I'm actually thinking I'm going to start with my brush. This is actually a new one because I've been using that one, but this is more common and I think it would be interesting to see so what I'm going to do, or before I start, what I've done here on this paper, this is watercolour paper, and I had a picture under here which I didn't like, and I just thought, oh, what, you know, I like painting over them um, because you get some nice textures, and I love having texture, and it gives a painting a lot of depth. So this is just covered in some gesso, which again, uh, let me have a C I've got here. I can show you this one. This is a Liquitex one, um, acrylic gesso, and it, it primes the paper. And it's a really good thing to, um, to use underneath um, any painting that you're doing, actually. And you can also use it as white paint, by the way. <laughs> so anyway, I have gessoed this. I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to put it in some water. And I'm just going to take a colour. So let me take, I might take a mixture of colours just to begin with, just to see what happens. Now again, we're just experimenting and we can see what might happen by using um, a brush. And you know, if you put a bit more water on it, you can get all kinds of different things going on really nice kind of free interesting patterns that you can make um, with a brush and I kind of like how it how it blends but not not um, it, it kind of keeps it translucent and free and loose and that's a kind of a really nice effect you can have you know, even just as a foundation for a picture, you can see how interesting that might be. So that's our brush. I'm going to put it in water so it doesn't um, so it doesn't dry out. Then let's have a look. Let's see what might happen if I'm going to use a spatula. Now you can get these separately, but um, you know, if you've got them at home, use them. <laughs> So maybe if we took, uh, let me have a see, a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white. And again, you can see what might happen. Now you're going to get a smoother finish with a spatula and with some really nice 
um, really nice different uh, textures. And this is the thing that we want to be thinking about is making differences to make the painting very um, more um, interesting and having a lot of depth to it. You can see how lovely that's kind of working out. I hope you can see that clearly. And then you, I might use this in a different way. Let's just have a see what might happen if I was to... I've just got a little bit of black on here. It's very spontaneous and how it might work. Then I might just move to one of my palette knives and then cut into this and spread it around. So you see with this play, you can really experiment with uh, different things and see how it works. Then I might use my spray bottle. Let's get that here. And move that around a bit, that water. Again, we're going to get some different effects. See how interesting it becomes? Let's put some more over here. And, you know, we're just seeing. Now, I'm going to try, I'm going to try my uh, one of these now let's have a think what we're going to do that in uh let me just see if it would work if i did it with this <laughs> i'm going to try it with some pink let's just have a look yeah now see how nice that is we can do some different things with circles and actually i'm picking up the paint from underneath so again, we're getting some nice effects. Let me just wipe this off here. And um, it gives you some really great things to experiment and play with and to see what might develop from it. And these are all wonderful ways of, you know, starting a painting. I'm going to use this. And then I might just let that dry and then I'm going to go over it with something else. So you can keep layering and layering, but it's a wonderful way to start painting, um, to start a painting, to loosen up, enjoy having um, the you know freedom to do whatever you like. <laughs> you know, okay, yeah, I could just carry on playing. You know, again, I can use my, my knife. I can draw into this just to get a lot of interesting. It's nice because I'm getting some of the white through whilst it's still wet. And of course I can draw into it with, with my pencils and my charcoal. You know, you, the, 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 the possibilities are, let me just get my pencil here. The possibilities are endless of playing and discovering and, you know, seeing what you like, what works for you. How can you, you know, progress from there and see what might happen? I mean, this is all kind of quite pale. So I know I said I was going to let it dry, but I got excited. You know, you might put something really strong in. Let's just see here. You can just carry on playing and carry on playing to see what might happen. You know, all kinds of things you can do. Let's do some of that in white as well. Okay, now I'm going to stop playing. <laughs> I think you get the idea. So I want you to have some fun with that and um, explore all the possibilities of the things that you can do. 
with things that you have at home, um, actually, you know what? Just quickly, whilst I'm here, again, if you if you feel you want to take some of it out, that you're not happy with it, you can use some kitchen roll and take some of it off. You can reprint it back on. See, it's kind of interesting. Let's do that because that's very thick black. Let's see what might happen if we take that off. Maybe put that over here. You see how something can really start um, to develop and you such a surprise because you never know what's going to happen. And that's the whole exciting thing about it is to enjoy and play and see and experiment with all kinds of different things that you've got at hand. You don't need to spend a fortune on all different tools. You know, you've got all this stuff probably at home. So um, please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you think about this. And if you've done your play, tell me all the different things that you might have used. And if you like the video, please like it and share. Um, you know, if you've got some friends who you think, oh, you know, they'd really enjoy this, it would be great to share it and press the notification bell to um, get the next um, the next video in the series. And again, um, all the links are in the in the information. Uh, you can go to my website. You can download a free uh, ebook on color mixing and a free print. But till next time, have a good play and. Uh, we're going to take this to the next stage in the next lesson. Okay, all the best and have some fun. Bye for now.